All right, so today we're gonna to be building ourselves a Raspberry Pi Pico Stratagem macro keypad for Helldivers 2, so let's get started. Now, I highly don't recommend playing the game with this type of device because the joy of this game is actually trying to punch those stratagems in while being chased by monsters and all your teammates being dead. It's actually what brings the game a lot of joy. But unless you or you know someone that actually physically has a problem typing in those combinations, then yes, this device is definitely for you. All right, so there are a couple of main components that we need for this build, which is one, the Raspberry Pi Pico for $4, and then assorted buttons. Now, depending on what you want, you don't have to use these type of buttons. You could use keypad buttons, or keyboard buttons or whatever buttons. As long as it's a button, it actually just works. Now I decided to put this on a breadboard just so it's easier to build out. And if I ever decide that I can transfer this over to a PCB board. Now the whole process of putting this together was pretty simple. I just have these wires that will connect the breadboards together with these pins. I just lay down all six buttons because we have two, which is a must have, which is resupply and reinforcements. Then you have the other four, which is your stratagems. Also keep in mind, you do need 3.3 volts, not ground on this one connector. Now, once you have everything all pinned out, it should look similar to this. I did use another Raspberry Pi Pico just to help me with the GPIO pins, but otherwise you can actually look all this up online, which pins are what number. Now, once you have everything all set, this is the time where we head over to a desktop. Now, here we have my GitHub, and this is actually the Git that we're gonna be using for the uh, code. I have everything laid out here before. I've done this project once before with this type of keypad. And it works very well. So if you want to build something like this, you can. We're also going to need the Circuit Python 8.2 and a website where you can get all the stratagem codes. Now, with that being said, the first thing you need to do is actually press and hold the boot select button and then plug in the Raspberry Pi. Once you do that, a thing would pop up calling it Raspberry Pi 2. You see this? Oops. Now I'm going to open that up. And from here, what I'm going to do is drop a UF2 file. In our case, we're going to download this circuit Python, which I already have downloaded. And I am just going to transfer that over. So I'm going to go over here and I have Adafruit circuit Python UF2. I'm just going to drag and drop this over. Once it drags and over, just leave it. It's going to load up the whole thing and reboot the Raspberry Pi on its own. So just let this go. And in two seconds, you see how that disappears. That's mean it's rebooted. And then next time when it boots up, you're actually going to see circuit Python in here. And with that being said, now we have our code. Next thing what we need to do is just download my GitHub, which I'll leave all the links down in the description below for this, and download the zip, which I already did. And we're just gonna head over to my Pi micro keys. I'm gonna grab these two things, the lib and the code. So we're gonna copy this, right click, copy or control C, head over to CircuitPython, and then paste this information. And yes, I am gonna overwrite this because I've already done this before. Once you're done, we can look at the code. Now I am using Tawny, which is the official code base that you should be using for Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, it just makes it a lot easier. And let me change the font a little because somehow it made it so small. So I'm just gonna go in here and try to make it much bigger, like 27. And then the bottom, I'll make that like 25. Okay, there you go. So you can kind of see what's going on. So now, first thing we need to modify is these GPIO pins. Now I have it on 9, 8, 7, 19, 20, 21. This is for my setup with this keypad over here, but depending on how you have it set up on your new macro keypad, you're gonna have to change those accordingly. So in my case, button one would be pin 16, and then button two would actually be pin 21, and so forth. So you would just keep adjusting this to all the pin layouts that you have on the keypad. Scrolling down here, this is the default things that I have. We're just sending a code, which is control and then key, uh, key code F7. So it hits control F7. What we wanna do is actually just modify this as well. So we're gonna here delete that and then we're gonna keep the key code as control because we wanna activate the stratagems. And then we're gonna do time.sleep 0.3. And then we're gonna do keyboard.send and we're gonna do key code up arrow and so forth, depending on what the key code is gonna be. So button one, which is the leftmost button, I want that to be reinforcements. So we're going into stratagems and it's gonna be up, down, right, left, up. And that's the same thing you would do over at uh, your Tani. So up, uh, to make my life a little bit easier, I'm just gonna copy and paste those. So I'm gonna do time sleep 0 0.3, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna paste this a few times because it's a four button combination. Whoop, that's a little bit too many, which is fine. I mean, I could just delete it. So here we have key code up, key code, uh, what do we need? Stratagems up, down, right, left, up. Oh, we did need five. Up, down, right, left, up. And then we could get rid of the time code 0.3. Okay, so we do need the point 0.3 because if it's too fast, it doesn't detect it in the game. Uh, so th point 0.3 seems to be the best time. You could try to use point 0.2, that seems to work, but if, if your computer is lagging a little bit, that might not work. So yeah, point 0.3 is probably the best time. Now, you all you have to do is really just copy and paste this to all these button values down here and just start adding your own code. So if I was to do the next one, I would grab this over here, copy this, and then take this over here for button 2, paste it and then now button two I want it to be resupply so it's down down up right and all I have to do is down and then I already got another down and this would be up and then this would be right and then I could get rid of the last second last code over here and there you go now I have my reinforcements and then resupply and then you keep doing it for all your other key combinations for whatever you're going to be using because i don't know what stratagems you're going to be using so that's all you have to do and then we should be able to test out the code but i'm going to finish editing this off camera and i'll show you guys in a second all right so here we go this is what i have set up now i did add a little thing called print button one print button two so i could actually see the serial output so say i have my mouse over here or my cursor right over here if i press the first button it'll actually say button one and then if i press button two you could see it the cursor actually moving around up and down because it's actually performing the task that I wanted to, which is holding control up, up, right, down, or whatever it is. If I hit button one again, it will do the same thing. And then button three, it'll actually perform the button three test. So I did also name it so I know this is reinforcement, this is resupply, the third one would be Eagle Cluster Bomb, the fourth button would be Gatling Sentry, and then the fifth one would be Rover, and the last one would be Auto Cannon. So now it's all a matter of just jumping into a game and just pressing the key combinations that you want. It's actually super easy to use, just pressing it will activate it. Now I did have to play around with the timing because this computer is slightly slower than my desktop so I had to change it to 0.5 milliseconds instead of uh, 0.3. So you're going to have to play around with the timing for your desktop just to see which one will work. Maybe a, a longer delay depending on your computer speed but yeah, ultimately it does work. And that is it, it's so easy to use. It's like an assisted device for your stratagems. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.